Hi, I'm Shelly from Anderson and & Associates, and I'm here today with Christy Norris from Nuisance Wildlife Removal, and we're going to talk a little bit about the difference of nuisance wildlife, some things that would be covered under insurance and some things that would not. Thanks for coming today, Christy. Thanks for having me, Shelly. So what kind of things would you like to know about today? Things that would burrow under your house, um, like armadillos, is, would that normally be covered under insurance? No, unfortunately armadillos are not. Um, even though they are a mammal, they give live birth, but they do not, they're considered more of a non-invasive species. They're not an actual um, species considered to Florida. They were brought here for another purpose. So armadillos would not be covered, but they are very damaging to your foundation. They can crack your pool linings and all of that kind of things. So definitely something that if you were to notice that you have to have to be aware of it and you'd want to get it fixed right away because you're going to be paying out of pocket. Absolutely, yes. If you see any diggings from armadillos, seed dens or anything like that, absolutely, you'd want to get that taken care of right away. And other nuisance animals, what's something that would be covered under an insurance policy? Um, generally with insurance policies, we found when raccoons take up residence inside of an attic space or underneath in a crawl space, um, your insurance company will cover that because they've caused damage. Um, they carry what's called raccoon roundworm, which is considered um, you know, a health concern, a health risk, and insurance companies will cover that, or bats or possums are covered when they nest. I just saw something on the news the other day with bats um, carrying rabies, and rabies is not curable. No, rabies is not curable. Um, rabies, you can, if you get bit, scratched, or anything like that, you can start the rabies vaccinations, but that has to be started immediately. Um, once you've already contracted the rabies virus, there is no cure for that. Um, unfortunately, death is what takes the toll. So I definitely think your service would be very um, important in that case, especially if it was somebody that was bitten or scratched that's not in your household member, there would be a huge liability for Absolutely. that even. Yes, and with bats, you won't even know um, exposure. If we have an exposure case, we have to actually catch that bat, take it to the local health department, and they send it off to be tested. Because a bat, you would sometimes not even notice that you were bit or scratched from that. Okay, well thank you very much for discussing that with us today, Christy.